Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today, what I'm gonna be going over is something that I got in the mail from a Limited Run Games, which I've been looking forward to for a really long time. It was originally just released in Japan, but uh, Limited Run Games actually got the rights to um, basically distribute it in the uh, United States. And what this is, it's called the Astro City Mini, made by Sega. And what it is, is um, basically a little arcade machine. There's 37 classic arcade titles inside of it, such as uh, the original Virtual Fighter, uh, Space Harrier, Fantasy Zone, Altered Beast, uh, Golden Axe, Alien Storm, uh, Wonder Boy, Shinobi, Shadow Dancer, uh, just to, to name a few. And What's neat about this is it's very similar to the uh, Neo Geo Mini that came out, um, oh boy, about four or five years ago at this point. And it's this little machine, and you can play it as a standalone, but you can also hook it up into your TV, basically as a plug-and-play, uh, to play it on the big screen. Now, I also got with it, and this was extra, but uh, I think it's vital, is the, this little pad. And this is how you play it on the TV. So I'm going to go over this in a little more detail. So uh, stick around. So here it is unboxed. And, you know, here it is compared to the size of my hand. The screen is probably about four by six. Now, it comes with this cord uh, that you plug it into any USB. So it's, uh, it doesn't actually go into... You know, it doesn't have like an actual charger. It's actually just, it charges by USB. And the one thing which I've tried, unfortunately it doesn't have like a chargeable battery or anything like that. So in order to play, you do have to constantly keep it on the USB. So that is the one drawback. So you just have to turn it on. The on button's in the back, it lights up. The sound is pretty good when using um, the actual uh, little machine. The sound, it, this it, you can't change the volume, uh, so it, this is pretty much what you get. But it's not too bad. And here's the uh, menu. Scrolling through. The one game which I'm really excited about on this, on this is uh, Golden Axe Revenge of Death Island. Scramble Spirits is a uh, good uh, shmup. It's an older shmup that was out on the Sega Master System. It's the original Golden Axe Shadow Dancer. It also has Thunder Force, which is uh, Thunder Force E3 from the Sega Genesis. Let me go to our uh, Golden Axe. Screen looks really good. It's nice and vibrant. This is basically the insert corn button. So, obviously, not playing it one-handed. Just want to get some footage for you guys. So that's basically it on uh, the mini. Now I'm gonna set it up on my TV, so stay tuned. So here's the uh, main menu when you put it on the TV, and it sounds a lot better when you put it on the TV, obviously. So I'm gonna try a couple games for you guys so you can check out. And this is also using the controller. So, 
start with uh, start with the original Golden Axe. Basically, gives you the controls. And what's cool about this is also is that you can save it at any point. I always use Axe Battler. In order to get out of the game, you just push the credit and start button at the same time. And it brings you to this menu where you can save it, go back to the game, and go back to main menu. Alien Storm is another cool one. This is basically like an alien version of Golden Axe I always thought of. Yeah, this game a play is actually very similar to Golden Axe, I think. Except obviously we just with aliens and different kind of weapons. She has very cool, colorful graphics, classic arcade style gaming. One of my favorites. This one plays great on this. One of my favorite shmups of all time. It plays really well. And the controller that comes with this is actually really good. It's very smooth. Controls great. Oh, I haven't played this in a while. Check out uh, Revenge of Death Adder on here. I'm gonna continue a game that I've been playing. Now this game, what's cool about it is it's never been released on a home console, except most recently on an arcade one-up. And this is actually the only second time it's been released at home. It was always only in the arcades. So this is a big reason why I wanted this uh, you know, little unit, was in order to play uh, this game.
I always loved the Golden Axe series. Golden Axe uh, on the Sega Genesis was awesome. Golden Axe 2. And this is uh, different than any of them. These guys are tough, they actually block. So things are always annoying. So you guys get the point. Here's all the games. Um, it's got a good amount of uh, games. You know, some obscure ones, some not so. So my overall thoughts on the arcade mini, I, I think it's a great little piece of hardware. Uh, I believe it was $129 uh, with an additional $30 for the controller um, when it was out on uh, limited run. You can buy it secondhand now on eBay. It looks like they're going for anywhere between $200 and $250. It, it all depends on whether you're a fan of the games. For me, I'm a, I was a big fan of Sega always, so this was a, a no-brainer investment. And plus the fact that it had Golden Axe, uh, Revenge of Death Adder, uh, made it that more uh, enticing. Uh, it has a great selection of games. Um, the actual the little machine itself, uh, playing the games, the games look great on it, uh, but my hands are just kind of too big to play on it just by itself. I mean, it's certainly doable, uh, but... Um, for me, it's, it's just a matter of comfort. Um, and given that it's so easy to just plug into your TV and play it that way, um, I, I, I enjoy the playing it that way. And plus, I think it looks great on the big screen. And the sound is better. So it, definitely playing it on your TV is great. And this is an official Sega product as well. So that's a big thing. This isn't like some knockoff thing which you see at either uh, Walgreens or you know, CVS, you know, those uh, systems with 80 games in one. This is an official Sega product, and it's uh, it's it's really good. I, I really enjoy it. Um, wish it had a couple different games. I would have uh, really liked if it had, like, uh, Wrestle War on it, which is kind of an obscure uh, arcade game. Uh, that would have been cool. My dream is for there to be a Michael Jackson Moonwalker um, to be put on some kind of uh, real emulation system, whether it be something like this or Arcade 1-Up, but I doubt they'll ever do that. They'll, they don't have the rights to. Anytime I've tried to emulate the arcade uh, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, the emulation's always terrible. Uh, so there's really no good way of uh, playing uh, playing it. Um, that was always a fun game for me. It was a, a really good uh, kind of top-down isometric uh, action. Um, sort of a brawler, uh, but it was kind of had a unique uh, take on it. But, uh, you know, if that could land on something like this, that'd be ideal. But be that as it may, uh, to me, like I said, Golden Axe, Revenge of Ath Death Adder like, definitely made this worthwhile for me. Um I couldn't buy the arcade one up for it only because I don't have any space left for arcade one ups. Um, I already have three and that pretty much uh, takes up any remaining space I would have. So, um, 
I didn't get it. And this is a great alternative and it plays great. So I'm very happy to get it. And very similar to Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, uh, Revenge of Death Adder was never uh, emulated well. There, I've never seen a good emulation of it uh, done. So I'm glad I can finally play it again after all these years when I played it back in the arcades. So um, let me know uh, what you guys think. Is this is something that you guys would be interested in picking up? Uh, you know, what do you guys uh, you think of the price point at this, you know, that it was 120 plus 30 for the um, controller? You know, like I said, it's a little higher now. I think you can still get it on Play Asia for about 160 but it's not the U.S. version. Uh, so there is that. But, uh, you know, you can figure out what's what. It, most of it is probably in English anyways. So for me, I definitely enjoyed this. I hope uh, this helps anybody that's considering uh, picking up this little unit. I think it's very worthwhile. I think it was, did a good job. Uh, the controls on the actual little arcade unit, are they are good. The arcade stick is clicky. Um, it it makes the little click sounds and it's, it's nice and tight. Um, like I said, the only issue for me is, you know, it, I have these big mitts and so it makes it you know, kind of hard to play. Uh, but doable, so for what it's worth. All right, guys, uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe on the video. Until next time, take care.